Hey, how's it going everybody? Wanted to talk about AC joint pain, or my specifically my AC joint pain. And uh, AC joint pain stands for acromion curricular, uh, or AC stands for acromion curricular, and that would be this joint right here. So right where the, uh, see my clavicle right there? And then see how this kind of comes into the top of my shoulder? Or at this point right here, the acromion process is the AC joint right there. And that's kind of where I'm having pain. I'm actually having it on the other side, not this side, but I'm holding the camera. So, anyways, uh, I want to talk about two articles I read, really good ones, by Eric Cressy. I've read them like probably two, maybe three times. And there'll be a link in the description about them if you want to find out some really good information. I've been looking on YouTube for some videos on AC joint pain. There's nothing, there's some good stuff. There's actually another video I'll put in the link in the description. Shows you some cool stuff on how to roll it out and kind of improve the movement. Uh, but the two articles are probably the best things I've been able to find. And if you're trying to improve your... Uh, AC joint issues is obviously you need to do, don't do anything that hurts. But specifically about my problem is that I had a heavy bench session, which was a few days ago, Sunday, today's Thursday. And uh, I was doing a lot of pause benching, a ton. I did eight sets of pause benches with, with weights between 255 and 250. And I did between sets of three and five reps. So I did a lot of volume. So by the end of the, the session, it was kind of sore. And then it's been sore pretty much ever since. Uh, last bench session last week when I did my pod, my heavy bench session, I still had some AC joint pain as well, but it subsided. And then when I went and benched the Sunday, it was good, but now the pain is worse. So it's, it's kind of probably compounding from week to week. And there's also some poor movement patterns. So kind of want to talk about kind of what you need to do to kind of help improve the issue or just help give you a better understanding of what's going on, at least my interpretation of the information and my own experience. And anything to do with the shoulder, whether it be a rotator cuff problem, uh, AC joint problem, uh, you know, some sort of issue in the joint. And almost everything is related to scapula control, sca shoulder blade stability. And almost all the time, every time I do research and try to do stuff for clients and try to figure out kind of what they need to do to improve their shoulder strength and make sure they don't have any pain, it always comes down to posture and movement patterns. So having good shoulder blade, retra re retracted shoulder blades and a depressed shoulders. And that, those muscles that do that are your rhomboids and your lower trapezius. Those are those are important muscles that allow the shoulder blades to come down and back. Also, the serratus anterior, which is about right here, which pulls the scapula forward. Uh, if you think about doing a really big arch in the bench, it's sort of this kind of what the serratus anterior does. And if you know what the serratus anterior is, when you're really ripped and lean, it kind of has a, it's like that boxer muscle that you see. And that, that muscle helps pull the, it pulls the scapula forward towards the front, which allows the shoulder blade to come down. And all you're trying to do is improve that shoulder blade position. And kind of what AC joint pain is caused by is due to tight muscles of typically, well, it's a little more complicated than what I'm suggesting, but definitely the pec minor, which would be the ch the muscle underneath the pec major, which is attaches to, uh, I forgot where it attaches, I think the coracoid process or somewhere up here, but into the rib cage. It doesn't come to the sternum. Comes to, so basically, if you can imagine, get my camera here. Right, it's, it's almost like this. This is sort of like what the pec minor looks like underneath the, the pec major. This is this this part here where my heel on my hand is is like the the um, the rib cage it attaches to the rib cage, which is the kind of the uh, origin, and then the insertion is somewhere up here with the uh, the hand where my fingers are. So, and what that means is that when that's tight, it makes the it makes the scapula protract forward and elevate up. Now, even if there's a small amount, think about this for a second. If you have a little bit of protracted shoulder and forward movement and then you do a bunch of pressing movements with heavy heavy weight or overhead pressing and you or you have or you get tired and you can't maintain position possibly what happened to me it will pull on this joint and it'll get worn out quite a bit uh, another thing to consider too is having not having good internal rotation in the shoulder because if you don't have good internal rotation not having good internal rotation in the shoulder will make it so that you're going to have to compensate here and move this joint more another thing too is not having good thoracic mobility in this case, this is upper back strength, or not upper back strength, upper back flexibility. So being able to deal with that issue. So you want to make sure that you ha you take those into consideration. If you're interested interested in me making a video about it, leave a comment below. I'll make one about it. Hope this video gave you some ideas on kind of what to do, or at least kind of point you in the right directions. Hopefully these articles help you. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.